Hare Krishna. So we will proceed on our journey with 26th verse of 3rd chapter from Bhagavad Gita as it is. The Sanskrit verse is as follows. Na buddhi bedham janayet agyanam karma sanginam joshet sarva karmani vidwan yukta samacharan. The English translation is as follows. So as not to disrupt the minds of ignorant men attached to the fruitive results of prescribed duties, a learned person should not induce them to stop work. Rather, by working in the spirit of devotion, he should engage them in all sorts of activities for the gradual development of Krishna consciousness. Education requires a dynamic awareness of the level of those being educated. Suppose a math teacher with a triple PhD in calculus is teaching children at primary school level. The teacher may delight in doctorate level math and may delight in seeing their students get to that level, but they need to explain simple arithmetic suitable for the primary level, thereby equipping and encouraging the students to take advantage and advance toward the next grade. If instead they teach advanced math concepts that are beyond the cognitive need and capacity of the students, they will end up intimidating and discouraging their students, who may even give up the, on studying maths altogether. We need to cultivate a similar dynamic awareness when we share spiritual truths with others. Even if we are at an elevated level of philosophical conceptions and ritual practices, our audience may be ready for nothing more than just baby steps toward exploring spiritual consciousness. If that is the case, we need to speak spirituality at a level that will encourage them to take incremental steps forward. If we delve into abstruse philosophical or ritual technicalities, especially in terms of aggressively emphasizing differences between different paths, that kind of knowledge may intimidate, alienate or discourage the seekers. Such an emphasis may hinder their spiritual growth or even impel them to give up spiritual exploration entirely. Pertinently, this shloka of Bhagavad Gita alerts us not to disturb the minds of people who are at preliminary spiritual level due to their physical attachments and metaphysical unawareness. Rather than berating them for where they are, we need to expertly engage them and guide them toward the next level in their spiritual progression. This is the mood of compassion and this is the key to responsible education. We will discuss the 27th shloka in the next episode. Till then, Hare Krishna.